Hello everybody, this is Daniel Babis. Welcome back to Daily Soap Dish. If you're new here, please do hit that subscribe button down below because we cover a ton of 90 Day Fiance here on the channel. All right, so let's get into it today, guys. We have a doozy of a story for you. Uh, this is about Tom Brooks and Tom Brooks has a new girlfriend. Now, I know some of you people might be saying, why do we care about Tom Brooks? He is old history. He is irrelevant. Why do we need to care about him? And I would be tempted to agree with you. However, the story that we will go through today is that outrageous that I think that you guys will find this just as funny as I do. So let's break it down. So a few days ago, Tom Brooks has started posting pictures on his Instagram profile about his new girlfriend. Now we find out that his new girlfriend's name is uh, Mariah Feynman and you know, according to Tom, he is a super duper in love with her. This is the love of his life. I believe he's actually used those words in one of his Instagram stories or perhaps uh, an Instagram post. So that's all fine and dandy. Now, fast forward uh, to yesterday and news <laughs> breaks out that Tom and Mariah's relationship is in fact fake. So let's go through the details here, guys. And this is coming to you courtesy of the Reality TV uh, Instagram account. So um, first we can see this picture here of Tom Brooks and his girlfriend, uh, Mariah. And they look like they are in love. They're posing together side by side. All is good. Uh, but then yesterday, we kind of uncovered this news that, uh, well, Mariah Feynman is actually married, and not just married, but happily married, and she has been married for a, <laughs> a number of years, I believe 12 years. So uh, here we can see that uh, Reality TV has this picture, this profile picture, of Neil Feynman, Mariah's husband, and uh, in it he says, she turns me gray, but I can't stay away. Nothing on earth like her. Her love makes me whole. And this looks like it was posted on February 5th, guys. I believe February 5th of this year, uh, unless uh, unless it's wrong, but that's what it looks like. So just a few weeks ago, guys, uh, this is what he posted on his profile. So pretty hilarious. And then we can see these other pictures of Neil. Uh, and uh, they're two. I believe they have two sons together, if I'm not mistaken. So it looks like they have uh, two boys, uh, him and uh, Mariah, so Tom Brooks' supposed new girlfriend, uh, they, it looks like they have two sons together. So this is a uh, pretty hilarious, guys. This came out yesterday, uh, and yeah, it, it looks like she's happily married. Let's fast forward this a little bit. So we see other information that Tom has been posting on his Instagram. So he's been posting uh, these pictures, uh, and he's advertising this drink. It's called I Drink. You can see it here. And uh, you can see he's been posting these. And lo and behold, um, as more uh, was dug up, it looks like Mariah and Neil Feynman actually own this drink company. So it's pretty hilarious, guys, uh, what is going on here. Uh, you know, I just I have no words for... for uh, th this is a pretty low... Even for Tom Brooks, I have to say, it's a pretty low low. I mean, we know that Tom Brooks basically came on... Last season of 90 Day Fiance, uh, when he was on with Darcy, and basically the whole angle was honestly the most useless angle that I've ever seen on 90 Day Fiance, period, outside of maybe Yolanda's catfish. Uh, I think Darcy Brooks was maybe a close second, maybe it's a third. There could be another angle out there, but it was really one of the worst angles that I've ever seen, and there was no story. This couple was broken up, and basically they were both kind of clinging to this uh, hope of kind of just being on TV and just milking the show as much as they could. But Tom Tom Brooks really, I think, came came uh, out the worst for wear out of that whole situation because he commented on Darcy's uh, waist. She, she commented on her looks and, uh, you know, on her, on her weight gain. Uh, and he just really looked like a big jackass. Everything he did, even the letter that he kind of left for her, he just looked like a, like a total uh, jackass. Like, there was no real reason for Tom to be on the show, outside of just being on the show and trying to milk every last ounce of media spotlight that he could. So, uh, look, let's go back to the story for a second here. So Tom also did a, a live uh, with his girlfriend Mariah's husband. And uh, so basically, Tom does address the fact that Mariah is in fact married uh, with two kids uh, and that she's been married for 16 years and she runs a business with her husband, Neil, 
the drink business that we just uh, spoke about before. They're BFFs and love each other dearly. So uh, this is all kind of weird. Neil confirms that he initiated the breakup with Mariah. They decided to file for divorce last year. Mariah and Tom met online last year. She consulted with Neil before moving forward in a new relationship. Tom reached out to Neil also for permission to date Mariah. Neil was quite impressed by this Englishman who was so courteous, he felt like Mariah was his daughter and he was giving away her hand in marriage. This is, this is so weird guys, this is so messed up, like what am I reading here? Uh, and this, I believe, is the story that they were trying to sell us. This is just unbelievable. And then it goes on to say that Tom cares deeply for Mariah. This is the most serious relationship he's been in since his baby mama. Since his, his mother? That, that is just weird. Both Tom and Neil insist Mariah has never had work done on her face except for fake lashes and the okay, uh, occasional Botox because we can obviously see that Mariah looks like she's had tons of work done on her face, especially on her lips, which are ginormous and don't look natural at all on, on a human being. Tom says he's kissed fake lips before and it wasn't pleasant so he uh, knows what fake lips uh, feels like. Uh, and then uh, it goes on to say that Tom appears irritated by the comments he's seen about Mariah's looks and her marriage. Uh, Neil laughs it off and, li uh, and lightheartedly says it comes with being in the spotlight. So this is pretty much uh, the story right here, guys. Um, we, we can also see that during this live, uh, this is also uh, courtesy of reality TV, that uh, we can see a picture of Tom and Neil's uh, side by side here, or one above the other. And in the background, uh, if we zoom in, we can see that Neil has a picture of himself and Mariah kind of like hugging. So this is, look guys, this is just so shocking. This is such a, a low, low, not just for Tom actually, because honestly, this is something that we can expect out of Tom to stoop to any low just to get another 10 seconds of fame, which by the way, we're giving him right now, but actually, I'm not sure if we're giving him the 10 minutes of fame that he wants, because we're actually kind of poking fun at, at his story. I'm not sure that Tom uh, really thought that the story was going to come undone so quickly. I thought that Tom thought that he was going to be able to kind of play on this charade for a little while longer. So like I said, guys, it's not just shocking that Tom would stoop this low, but it's shocking that a married couple would try to fake a relationship uh, like Neil would try to basically pretend like his wife is dating Tom just what for for a bit of fame just to kind of get their name out there for their product this is crazy guys this is honestly one of the most shocking things that I have ever seen look there is a possibility that Tom is telling the truth. I believe that it's a slim, slim, slim possibility because it just doesn't look <laughs> like the kind of story that, that, that would be true. You know, like uh, Neil and Mariah have two kids and uh, you know, like Neil just would just happily give uh, Mariah, you know, to Tom, uh, like, like he was giving his daughter's hand away. This just doesn't make any sense, guys. This is just ridiculous. But look, there is a possibility that it's true. So you guys let me know, what do you guys think about this whole Tom story with his new girlfriend, Mariah? Do you guys think this is legit? Uh, or do you guys think this is, uh, another Tom desperate attempt at grabbing on, clicking on to that 10 seconds or, or 15 seconds of fame, whatever it is for Tom, because it is expiring, and we know that Tom loves to be a 90 day fiance he absolutely craves the attention we know that from the past and we know that he would need an american girlfriend to come on the show uh in a future season i think that the producers would probably invite tom back and if he has an american girlfriend that would obviously elevate his chances so it's possible that we might see tom and his in my opinion fake girlfriend Mariah come on a, a later season of the show and of course we'll have Neil watching this whole fake relationship unfold on TV if that's the case this is just so weird guys I, I don't think that I've ever read a, a weirder story uh, in terms of 90 Day Fiance I mean we've read some pretty crazy ones like the Paul and Carini stuff that that is really crazy and wild but in terms of just flat out weird guys this might be the weirdest story that I have come across uh, so far. So you guys let me know what you think. What do you make of this whole situation, guys? Do you guys believe that this is legit? Can it be legit? Am I just being too harsh on, on old Tom Brooks? Uh, or what do you make of it? Let me know in the comment section down below, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already done so. And I will see you guys on the next one with more 90 Day Fiance news. Take care, guys.